Okay, we're just going to build a standard uh, broadband bass trap here, or broadband frequency trap uh, with waveguides. Um, it starts out with just a frame shown here. These are eight and three quarters deep. Uh, minimum, I would say, is eight inches, but this is eight and three quarters. Uh, it's framed out like this. You want to make sure that the sides are open so that that sound can travel through the sides as well, so it's not a, a complete enclosed. The bottom doesn't matter quite as much, and the top goes open like that. So this is how we start. It's just a standard three-quarter inch plywood, and that's uh, just cut to size. And then I use a jigsaw to, to cut it to punch out the uh, the holes here. After that, we take one inch 703 rigid or one inch uh, rigid fiberglass. It could be Owens Corning 703 or uh, any other brand and we just put that against the wall and that leaves us with um, about yeah I guess just oh just under eight inches now the waveguides uh, you can see I've drawn in the, the, the template down here um, what I'm doing for the, the waveguides here instead of measuring every single one I, I've created a template uh, just like that and I'll just basically lay it in there like this and then I'll trace it in and it, it ends up looking like that and then I'll do it up top as well the wire here that's coming down is for a, a baseboard heater so that'll be 240 um, so I'm gonna draw on the template real quick and then I'm gonna show you how I install the braces again the, these are not at all um, structural they just kind of hang in there so you don't it doesn't have to be fastened in in any extreme way I've cut these supports maybe five and a half inches and put them on the outside line from the template I drew and just nailed them in place with brad nails the waveguides will push against here and then I can nail into them just to keep them in place Again, the waveguides are not structural, so it doesn't need to be anything beefy. It just has to keep them in place. We've put the waveguides in along the guides that we've created and just brad nailed them in. Again, not too secure. They just need to stay in place. The waveguides are 7 inches wide, made of plywood like just about everything else. Uh, next, we just stuff it with some fluffy and cover it with some Dacron and fabric, and we're all set to go. All right, we're gonna fill these up with insulation. It gets a little tricky and a little annoying because you have to cut individual pieces of insulation, uh, you know, to fit between the waveguides. What I do is I take, it's gonna be two layers of R13. So I go, I, I kind of try to find something halfway in between. Let's see if you guys can see this. Sorry, it's a little awkward with just one hand. But I try to find something in between. If you're looking at it like this, maybe this is right where the first layer would, would be done. And then I just kind of measure the width around there. And this is probably about, set. I know, again, it's hard with one hand, but that's about seven inches. Uh, these are about six right there. So, so I'm gonna cut a bunch of strips and just uh, start packing them in there. I've already done it to the front wall here and covered that all up. Uh, Actually, right here is this. This one is uh, filled in, so it's going to look like that when it's done. Uh, the best way that I found is is just take these these 24 inch bats of unfaced R13, lay them on the ground, and uh, just use one of these. It kind of compresses it, and you can also uh, measure it a lot easier. And it, it with a uh, a box cutter, it literally cuts through like butter. I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to attempt to do this <laughs> with one hand. Just to, It'll even show you how easy it is. So this piece of wood is actually 7 inches wide, which is coincidental. Uh, but I do need a couple pieces of 7. So I've laid it on here. Just use the side here as a guide, assuming that's straight from the factory. It usually is pretty close. Now I just step on that, and it compresses it. And then put my box cutter and literally this easy. Just walk backwards over the wood like that. 
then we can pull that off like this like that super clean cut everything's good I'm just gonna take this over here like this put it up in like that and just proceed to get it in there best I can now I just I don't want to compress it too much I literally compress it as little as possible keep it as fluffy so I just take a minute to uh, get it in there in a way that's that isn't going to compress it too much and then just uh, keep moving on so uh, after this we put a layer of Dacron on the last step for these traps is to put well second to last step for these traps is to put Dacron in again this is just going to potentially protect from the fiberglass uh, particles if there are any uh, after we're done with this we just cover it in whichever fabric you like it's uh, breathable I'm using Guilford's of Maine and that wraps it up so uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys if so give me a like uh, or subscribe that'd be great any questions leave them in the comments and uh, thanks again guys